Ladies and gentlemen, the title does not deceive you. I have broken my Arch Linux installation. I've been using this desktop for the last couple of months, about four months, five months. It's a bit. It's been a while. I already had everything that I needed on it. I had my applications. I had my configurations. I had everything. Unfortunately, I decided to do something that wasn't a very good idea. If you guys don't know, there are many types of virtual machines and virtualization types and I am a avid Linux user I believe in the Linux superiority if you say that but um, I truly still need to use Windows for a few things um, and one of them is gaming because I have I have an AMD GPU and it's better for everything that I do in Linux but the AMD software is not available here on Linux so if I want to use frame generation in apps that do not support it, I cannot use it. And for me, that's something that is very useful. Sometimes I bought this GPU because it had that. I started to want to do the GPU pass through methods. And I used to use a lot VirtualBox. If you don't know, VirtualBox is this software right here. It's made by Oracle, it's open source, it's very good for beginners. But it's not very performant and I wanted something that was performant so I can you know run my games and does not support GPU pass through which is something that I needed to run the games so what I wanted to do was create a Windows virtual machine do a GPU pass through so I can use my AMD software that's what I wanted to do so I've heard of this software right here that is QMU it's a kernel level virtual machine so it's more performant and I can do my GPU pass through. That is what I wanted to do all along. So I started to learn how to do that. I downloaded here on my Arch Linux install QMU. I had my virtual virtual manager so I can manage the virtual machine as everything. And then I realized that I didn't have secure boot on. I don't use secure boot on my machine. I never needed it. And most people that have Linux don't have secure boot on. My reason specifically is because <laughs> Grub on the Arch Linux default stall is not signed. It doesn't have a key. If you guys don't know, secure boot works via many authentications that happens between the hardware, the chip on the motherboard and the, the signing on the software. So Grub is not signed on Arch Linux by default. And I wanted to sign it. Because if my Arch Linux was not signed, I did not have the option to run a Windows 11 virtual machine. I could use a secure boot via software, but it had issues and it could cause shared folders between the virtual machines and then vulnerabilities can come from the virtual machine to the actual user's PC. And I, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to deal with that. So I thought the easiest way was just to sign my Grub so I can use a virtual machine. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. It was my, I, I should have just tried to run Windows 10 or something because Jesus Christ, I, I started to do everything right. I did everything right. I, I followed every guide. But then, I made a crucial mistake. I, I use Linux for almost a year now. I started using Linux. I went from Linux Mint and then I went to Arch, by the way, straight through. Look at my install. So pretty. I had the B-top. I, I just had B-top and NeoFetch here. But people think that's pretty. So that's what matters. And then, yeah, though that, that, that wasn't... Oh my god, I, I made a mistake. That was a very bad mistake. So by trying to use GPT of all things to help me run my virtual machines. If you guys take anything out of this video is do not use GPT for big instructions on Linux that you have to follow. Don't do that. Don't do that. I've always read ArchWiki and everything always worked for the last five months that I had this computer here with this install. Everything just worked. It was flawless. I don't know what, what came to me. I don't know if I didn't have the proper guides or I, I was lazy to read ArchWiki, but I, I fucked up. I, I, sorry, but I did it and it was bad. I, I shouldn't have done that because something happened that my UFI software 
was not finding a proper it was not finding something in my grub and I just broke in I bricked my arch stall I bricked my arch system I could not have any sort of access to it so yeah it was bad it was very bad something that saved me a lot of time and it's something that you should take from this video as well is this little software right here called time shift time shift is the best thing ever and I should have done more of these I should have done one right before I started to mess with the bootloader because if I did I could just work on everything and just came back you know it's a backup you literally make backups and the good thing is most USB bootables that you have comes with time shift in it so you just plug it in boot from the USB and restore one of these that's what I did I restarted this first one before flux I don't know what the name of this I think I was trying to run flux natively but it was the only only snapshot that I did it was the only snapshot that I did before I broke in my computer and see the date do you see the date of this it's a while back so yeah my computer has almost nothing it had only these two it had time shift and Z. that is the my time my text editor and then now it has um, more things because it's downloaded but like guys use time shift like do one of these every every month is very important if you're arch if you're a linux user in general you can break things sometimes and this is great you just use it it's very useful and yeah now i'm gonna keep more i just configured the obs to record this so i just did one and that obs config and then i come back i have a like i have a hard drive that i keep these on and then yeah i don't know if you can take anything from this but use time shift that's what i gotta say and thanks for watching guys um good luck in your linux journey